Hey, Alec here from Adaptive Training Academy. Gonna give you a quick overview and a comparison between the adaptive divisions for the CrossFit Open Workout 21.2. As always, please refer to your official scorecard for each division. All of the details for the workout are listed there on that scorecard. 21.2 for the adaptive divisions is gonna be very similar to age group divisions. There's going to be a couplet between some form of dumbbell snatch and burpees. The dumbbell snatch is going to be ascending and the burpees will remain at 15 reps. So no change to the repetitions, to the flow or the time cap for anything in the adaptive divisions. For the dumbbell snatches, the vision division, upper extremity, the short stature and intellectual divisions will all be doing dumbbell snatches from the floor. The lower extremity and the neurological division are both gonna be doing hang snatches. And then the seated divisions, both with and without hip function, are going to be doing lap dumbbell snatches. Of note for all divisions for the dumbbell snatch, doesn't matter if you're going from the lap or the floor, both heads of the dumbbell are going to have to touch the ground every time between reps. For the upper extremity division, this is a very specific programming note, so make sure you take a look in the scorecard. Every single rep, athlete must release their hand on the ground, and athletes must complete the entire workout with the same arm. Even when you go back and forth between burpees, when you come back, you have to use that same arm for the entirety of the workout. For the burpee, the only division that's going to be doing the actual burpee box jump over as the age group divisions is going to be the upper extremity division. Every one of the other adaptive divisions are doing some other form of burpee. So please make sure if you're judging multiple athletes in different divisions, you know the differences in the movement standards for that burpee for the different divisions. For the seated division for burpees, these athletes are gonna see a very new movement in the CrossFit Open. Something that's familiar in adaptive competitions, but the first time in the Open. And that's going to be chair U-turns. That is gonna be the seated athlete's version of burpees. I'm gonna kick it over to Kevin Ogar and he's gonna go over the specifics for the seated divisions. Hi guys, Kevin Ogar here with the Adaptive Training Academy. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the lap dumbbell snatch. Lap dumbbell snatch starts with the dumbbell, both heads on your lap. It's gonna be lifted in one continuous motion overhead until your elbow is locked out. And the dumbbell can be seen over the top of your body from the profile view. Uh, you can use your non-lifting hand as a balance point on your lap and or wheelchair. Touch and go is permitted, but bouncing the dumbbell off your lap is not. A lap mat or lap covering is highly recommended, but not required for this movement. The one difference between the seated with hip function and seated without hip function is seated without hip function may have assistance in resetting the dumbbell if it starts to get away from them. The box U-turn is gonna start with the back axle of the wheelchair in front of the back of the box. The athlete will then pull back spin away from the box, push themselves to the other side of the box, and the rep is credited when the back axle gets across the back of the box. Common faults for the box U-turn that will result in a no rep is not spinning away from the box, but spinning into the box, and not getting the rear axle clearly past the back of the box. For all divisions, please make sure that you start by standing tall, except for seated divisions, before that go. So on three, two, one, go, please make sure you're still standing tall at that go, then you can reach down and grab your dumbbell. Don't be going down to grab the dumbbell ahead of time. That's an early no rep right in the beginning of the workout. And lastly, I wanna go over some movement standards that are different between divisions. So namely about the dumbbell. Can you touch and go with the dumbbell? Can you use your off hand to support while, you, while lifting the dumbbell? Can you get assistance with equipment and resetting your dumbbell? For the burpee, are you allowed to step back or do you have to jump back into position? And lastly, do you have to do a two foot takeoff for your burpee? We provided a comparison chart, so easy reference, but as always, please check out those official scorecards.